We're going to do a final test run of Edward Georgevich's uh, pre-war Lionel 255E locomotive. This one was taken apart by Edward's father at least 10 years ago and left apart in a box. Tender was still put together, but the tender had to be taken apart and completely rewired and cleaned. That was really in rusty shape. Uh, the motor was uh, unworkable, and so I had to completely disassemble that and fix it. You can see it's uh, in an almost perfect condition. It's not a speed demon, but none of the pre-wars really were. However, it has some really neat details that the post-wars don't have. Uh, including one of my favorite things, the lit firebox. You can sort of see the red glow of the firebox that they discontinued on the post-war locomotives. Uh, the tender whistles. And we're going to run it, uh, run the E in it and for cycle it through forward, neutral, and reverse for you. Um, just to show you that it works, I'm going to take, I'm going to uh, disable it when we run it around the track because it hates my switches and it keeps reversing itself and it goes over my switches. But I want to give it a few circuits around the track so that you can see it run. Again, this is Edward Georgevich's uh, 255E. So let's go ahead and disable the E unit and we'll let it run for a bit. He doesn't like the seams on my track. You get an idea of how old this locomotive is. We're talking the late 1930s. So again, while they aren't speedy, running well, and everything's working correctly. Again, it's Edward Georgevich's 255E.